So the Punchestown Gold Cup is next. This is a three mile one furlong grade one. And we've got a big field for this. Big competitive field as well. Top of the pile is all along for, or even aerial along for, Darren Thompson, Corporal Jones, Kevin Meenahan, good card, David Hooley, half share, Leon Van Rensburg, home run, Kevin Meenahan, I'm no angel, Leon Van Rensburg, Lord Decoy, and a Maguro Blade for Padre Hogan, Mon Via Vitas, New Gray, Seymour Ghosts, John Morgan, Tambourine Man, Martin Leland, the Broken One and the Ranger for Joshua Sutherland, Tommy Clarence for David Robertson, World Class David Hooley, Among Equals, Paul Rhodes, Ash Kalara, Favourite David Robertson, Fatima Whitbread, Paul Rhodes, Hahira City, Darren Thompson, Marty Pan Holly, Stu Gray, Knightly Contract for Craig Beckwith and the Cheltenham Gold Cup with a what no son for Craig Beckwith at the bottom there away and racing. Massive field for this. And well, I can guess is there can't be enough three more handicap hurdles, uh, handicap chases this week, and they've all been lumped in this because I'm sure quite a few of them are tilting at a huge windmill, but pulling for their heads at the front. Mon Via Vita and Lord Decoy, and Lord Decoy is going to lead them into the first of the 16, which they all got to the other side of. Okay, and Lord Decoy has settled down in front, right over on the far side, the Ranger. And among equals are disputing second. Look as big a field and this is always in the Grand National last week. They get over the next and they're all safely over it with Lord Decoy clear in front. By about four lengths or so I'd say it's difficult to tell with the angle. But the Ranger is in second as they get over that one. And they've all got over that one okay as well. Looking towards the back, world class and home run. Oh, the back two. Tambourine Man is actually the last one in shot. Right, it would take a genius of a cameraman to keep a lot of these in shot all the way through the race, I think, so we're going to settle for quite a few not being in shot for some of the race, I would have thought. And Lord Decoy lands over the fourth in front. A mistake there by the Darren Thompson horse. Aerial along, I'm not seeing that one shuffle back towards the rear. Lord Decoy continues to lead from the Ranger and Seymour Ghost to take this ditch. Seymour Ghost really attacked that ditch and came out of it well in second. The Ranger third among equals is fourth and then the Broken One, I'm no angels up there as well. Maguro Blade, Mon Via Vita going the shortest way around in the black jacket for Stu Gray. Looking towards the back home run just the back mark of the grace they are all in shot at the moment and they're coming up past the stand take the fence that'll be the last in two circuits time and all streaming over that one they're all over it well with the exception of her hero city so her hero city has gone on the wide outside so darren thompson's other horse made a mistake earlier and his hero city has departed the race the first one so to do as they Come past the winning post with a complete circuit of the Punchestown track to go and Lord Decoy is clearing the lead by two lengths to among equals in second. I'm no angel on the outside is third, then the Ranger and Seymour Ghost, a broken one, is close up as well. Then Mon via Vita as they stream over that one. World class is the one that's at the back and just out of shot at this point. But Lord Decoy continues to set the pace for. Padraig Hogan with I'm oh, No Angel in second as they get over the eighth. And they're all safely over the eighth with the Ranger in third, Maguro Blade four, and then Marzipan Holly getting a little bit closer now. And second of the Stu Grey horses as they make their way towards number nine. And all safely over that one as well. Lord Decoy continuing to lead the Ranger second, I'm oh, No Angel third, then among equals Maguro Blade. Tambourine Man getting a bit closer on the inside as they take that ditch. And there's something down there. There's two gone. Corporal Jones has gone and good card has gone. So don't panic, but Corporal Jones is out of the race. And good card has been shuffled a bad deck as well. He's also out of it. So it's Lord Decoy in the lead by about four lengths to the Ranger in second. Tambourine Man moving up nicely on the outside. Then What No Son, who's very close up today. Normally comes in a rattle at the end as they take the 11th and Tambourine Man was down on his nose there and that could 
have put Bane to his chance in a competitive race, but Lord Decoy's in the lead. New tactics on what no son was disappointing last week, but won the Cheltenham Gold Cup the week before coming from absolutely nowhere. I'm gonna try and take the race by the scruff of the neck, it would seem this time, and they're over the twelfth. And it's Lord Decoy in the lead from What No Son, Mon Vita, Fatima Whitbread, Tambourine Man, Maguro Blade. There's plenty in with chances they get over the 13th. And over the 13th they go. They've got just three more to take then. And it's still Lord Decoy who's been in the lead all the way. Tambourine Man on his outside is in second. Then comes What No Son and Maguro Blade, Fatima Whitbread, Mon Vita, and Ashkalara, favourite, trying to get into it. Nightly Contract is also trying to get into it as well. But it's still Lord Decoy that leads Five furlongs to race. Lord Decoy comes down to the next fence with a clear lead of two lengths. This is a third from home. Lord Decoy jumped it really well. Tambourine Man made a mistake again. He's shortly out of it now. Maguro Blade moves into second. Then comes the Ranger in third. Mon Vita running a big race in fourth. Then the broken one on the outside. What no son is under pressure as they take the final. It's the second from home and it's now the Ranger who's come through to challenge for the lead from Mon Via Vita and half share then comes the broken one what no son is still trying to battle on tambourine man's trying to get back into it again they've only got a couple to take then now and it's on the inside lord decoy in fact they've only got one to take the ranger on the outside trying to run from the back half share the broken one tambourine man trying to get back into it as well as they come down towards the final fence then in the punchestown gold cup and it's lord decoy been in the lead all the way on the inside from the ranger lord decoy and the ranger they land together finishing like a train now it's half share but it's got to be into the final furlong it's now the ranger who's taking it up it's the ranger who goes on from half share lord decoy's got nothing left and it's got to be the ranger from half share as they race up towards the line it's got to be close the ranger half share's getting up now on the outside and half share he's got to take that punch down goal but half share wins it the ranger tommy clarence finished like an absolute train we lost marzi van holly in the straight and a thrilling finish but it looked like the Leon Van Rensburg horses won that quite easily in the end. Tommy Clarence came from nowhere. What no son battled on well as well to take fourth. So half cheer for Leon Van Rensburg, the winner. The Ranger for Joshua Sutherland second. Tommy Clarence, David Robertson was third. What no son, Craig Beckwith was fourth. And the fifth horse to finish was the broken one for Joshua Sutherland.